Over the past few days, New Delhi, the capital of India has seen right-wing mobs unleash horrific violence in which the Muslim community has been targeted. Over 20 people have been killed and close to 200 injured. Houses have been burnt, a mosque has been desecrated and armed mobs roamed around the city shouting offensive and provocative slogans and beating up people. Leaders and members of the ruling party, the Bharatiya Janata Party, have been publicly making statements calling for violence and specifically targeting the protesters who are taking a stand against the Discriminatory Citizenship Amendment Act. In this episode of Around the World in 8 Minutes, we look at the mobilization of the left against these right-wing attacks. On Wednesday, members of various left parties, activists and concerned citizens staged a sit-in for peace in the wake of these deadly riots. Our team was on the scene and brings you this report. In a systematic way, the Hindutva forces, the BJP RSS, is trying to uh, create a situation like during the Gujarat carnage in Delhi. We have been seeing that there have been peaceful protests going on across the country, including in Delhi, against the divisive Citizenship Amendment Act and uh, the NPR and NRC uh, process. And uh, even during that time, there has been an effort to divide the society, to try and uh, polarize on communal lines. That process went on throughout the entire Delhi uh, Assembly elections. And now, uh, what we are witnessing in Delhi is probably after 1984, the worst kind of um, attacks on the minorities, especially the, uh, the Muslim minorities are being attacked in a big way. The police have totally colluded with the perpetrators of the crime. In from different areas, we are getting calls about how women are being sexually harassed and uh, they, no one is uh, willing to listen to the complaints of uh, the victims. This is a situation which is uh, we are witnessing over the last few days in Delhi. Today, uh, as part of uh, demanding that peace be re-established in uh, Delhi, a large uh, section of uh, organizations, left, uh, left and secular uh, political uh, parties have come here uh, calling upon the government to ensure peace in, the uh, in, in Delhi and also uh, it is uh, very important to note the uh, role of the Delhi police. They are accountable for the crimes that are happening um, against the minorities in Delhi. They, they should be held accountable and those who are responsible for uh, the total failure of law and order uh, machinery, they uh, have to be sacked for it. Also, it, uh, it is very clear that whatever is happening is with clear blessings of those in power. So that is, uh, this, uh, uh, there is need to isolate the forces which are trying to um, polarize the country on communal lines and reap political benefit out of that. The peace-loving people of Delhi have gathered today at Jantar Mantra at the call of different organizations, different individuals and civil society members. So all of us are very much pained, very, very pained and disturbed by the violence uh, on Muslims, uh, the communal hatred that is being played out on Delhi streets, especially in Northeast Delhi. Till now, around 20 people have lost their lives, several are injured, People are not being able to reach hospitals. Uh, there is a situation of utter panic and threat in these areas. Uh, we have seen how uh, uh, rioters are breaking, uh, you know, they're breaking doors, entering inside houses, trying to attack people, trying to kill people. And it is a targeted attack on Muslims, I mean the police. Uh, why I am saying so? Uh, because we have seen how the ruling party BJP, some of their leaders have instigated violence and the police is clearly, uh, the section of the police is clearly, they are also communally motivated and we have seen how Muslims are uh, being targeted, uh, you know, especially. Yes, uh, many Hindus are also injured, yes, police constables are also in injured because if there is a communal violence, even if it is targeted against Muslims, no one can escape that. It will affect all communities, it will affect the Hindus, it will affect the Hindu poor, 
police constables, everyone. So that is why we have gathered here, appealing for peace, appealing everyone that please stop your communal politics right now. Stop, uh, appeal for peace. Do not kill human beings. A human being is a human being. Uh, blood is blood. Human blood is human blood. Blood doesn't have any religion. In our next story, the social protests in Chile against the neoliberal government of President Sebastian Piñera continued with demonstrations at the 61st Vina del Mar International Song Festival on February 23rd. Despite strong police presence, hundreds of protesters mobilized in the city and demonstrated in front of the amphitheater, taking advantage of the lights and cameras to denounce the anti-people, anti-social and anti-democratic regime of Piñera. In addition, a group of protesters succeeded in entering the festival site and raised slogans against the president, comparing him with the last Chilean dictator, General Augusto Pinochet. This manifested the discontent of the majority of the Chileans against his administration. For many, the protest had symbolic importance as a festival, which costs millions of dollars to put on, is largely for the bourgeois, elites and celebrities, while the government claims that there is no money for health, education or housing for citizens. Protesters in Chile continue to demand structural changes in the system in order to guarantee fundamental rights for all in the country. The officials of the National Police Force, the Carabineros, brutally repressed the peaceful protest with water cannons, spraying toxic water and excessive amounts of tear gas. This led to violent clashes between the protesters and the security forces. Three state vehicles and five private cars in some government buildings were set on fire by the protesters. In the aftermath, barricades were erected in different parts of the city and the militarization of the city was intensified. The streets of Vina del Mar transformed into a battleground by late evening. Incidents of police repression were also registered in the neighboring city of Valparaiso, where people mobilized against spending millions of dollars on a music festival amid a serious social crisis. The protesters received the support of national and international artists who took part in the event. Chilean singer Mon Laferte and Puerto Rican singer Ricky Martin criticized the militarization of the city and the despotic attitude of the president towards his people. The popular uprising in Chile against the right-wing government of President Piñera and the neoliberal state model in place since the last military dictatorship of General Pinochet began four months ago on October 18, 2019. In these past four months of anti-government protests, 31 deaths and thousands of cases of human rights violations have been reported and condemned by national and international organizations. According to the National Institute of Human Rights in Chile, between October 17th and February 18th, due to heavy police repression, 10,365 people have been arrested, 6,158 have been severely injured, 445 have suffered eye injuries and vision loss, 520 have been tortured and threatened, and 197 have been sexually harassed, and 1,073 people have been dealt with with excessive force. The social movement, with the demand of a new and inclusive constitution with people's participation, is expected to resume with greater strength in March, with a number of demonstrations planned during this month. That's all we have for this episode of Around the World in 8 Minutes. To read these stories and more, visit our website peoplesdispatch.org and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching.